Hi guys, Andy here. I'm actually quite excited by this most recent uh, phone purchase. Two years ago when the original Moto G came out, I was amazed and stunned by what the device could do for such a cheap price. Um, and I suppose really just kind of how slick and smooth it was at such a cheap price. The second generation Moto G, I wasn't massively impressed by actually. I found it a little slower than the original. The camera was better and the screen was bigger but uh, the battery wasn't as good, the speaker wasn't as loud, and like I said, it just wasn't as slick. So um, I was quite excited that when I started hearing people talking about the third gen Moto G being an another amazing device for the price that you pay. Now I picked this one up from Clove. One of the things I was a little disappointed when I first heard was the price. So Motorola was saying it's 180. Now the original one I think launched at 120, um, and that's quite a big, that's 50% extra on top. But Clove I think is the cheapest place that I've seen them for, and it's 132 plus VAT, so that's gonna work out around 160, slightly under perhaps. Um, this is the eight gig white version. It's quite a nice, nice, neat little box. I didn't get my little knife, oh there we go, I'm in there with my thumbnails. And there we are, oh. Well that's quite an interesting feel, it's a textured back. You can perhaps hear, ooh, it gives me sort of funny feeling when you, when you rub pressing hard on it. Um, so even that, right away from the beginning, that looks better. That does look not quite so budget as the original. I'll just quickly show you the original. So this is the original Moto G, I still have it with this red back and it is a bit plasticky and this straight away this new Moto G it feels a bit weightier which isn't obviously necessarily a good thing um, but at the same time it's, it's a bit more reassuring perhaps this is 155 grams so the picture on the back there shows us how we put it off the back and put the back back on so what the hell while we're here let's just go ahead and, and do that so we see at the top there is the slot for the sim card that looks like it's a micro rather than a nano there is an sd card slot you'll see right next to it just here uh, as i say it's the 8 gig version model xt 1541 um it's kind of rubberized interesting i'm not sure what that is let's put it back on i would assume there's different backs available like the like, like the picture says push around there we go um so 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel as we can see 4g lte i don't think the original well definitely the original didn't come with 4g there were 4g models came out later ipx7 certified so that's uh one meter depth of one meter for 30 minutes sd card as we've already seen quad core processor let me just quickly double check 1.4 gigahertz cortex a53 it's also got the adreno 306 gpu and it's all sat on a snapdragon 410 now i recently did the xiaomi sorry oh no it's snapdragon 410 yeah sorry that's the snapdragon 615 and i was a little disappointed with it slight bits of lag and such so i'm not sure how the 410 will compare it'll be interesting to see um it should come pre-installed with uh, 5.1.1 um, and also the glass here Corning Gorilla Glass 3 so all in all the the specs are pretty high for a cheap Dutch I mean it's almost mid-range though at 180 well 160 from Clove um, the screen I didn't mention is 1280 by 720p so it's only 294 pixels print but then you know they do say above 320 you can't see it anyway so I've, personally, I've no problem with that. I'm not quite sure what the massive race is to get to sort of 4K screens on a mobile phone. Let's just double check what else is in the box before we move on. Well, that didn't take long. There's a charging cable. There is a README. There's some rubbish. What's that? Like the warrant? I don't know. Whatever. A README. I'm sure that's not going to have any port in the SIM card in. So it's got you. Motorola, but it's gonna have all the Motorola bits and pieces um, as they always do, which generally I'll ignore. And I'll maybe even try and install a Google Play edition if there is. Discover your Moto apps, photos, blah, 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 blah. So, okay, well, this might be useful for for some people. Let's, let's move the move the box aside. Let's come back. Oh, we'll have to. Let's go ahead and turn. I can see in the panelling actually under the bright light. I could see some lines. Um, it is. I think it's an LCD. Let me double check it. IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, uh, five inches 
1280 by 720 as I mentioned. The boot up will be probably quite familiar by uh, those that have already had Motorola, like one of the previous Moto G's perhaps. Um, and that was pretty pretty quick boot up. Right, so. Hello. Yeah, we are there. I will just uh, log in very quick. So, as you might have seen uh, when logging into a Lollipop phone before, it asks you if you want to just uh, basically sort of copy everything from a previous device. What are the options? Okay, so you can untick. Wow, okay. Um, fine. So, okay, let's do that, I suppose. Um, skip the screen lock for now. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. So while it's doing that, we'll take a look around. I say while it's doing that, we might be. Yeah, so it's going to go ahead and if it's going to go ahead and install 140 apps, that's going to take quite some time. Now, the screen, as I turn it to an angle, I don't know how it looks on the video. It does dim a little bit as you go to it. So it looks great when it's head on or for you guys, sorry, on the camera head on. Then we turn, you can see straight away it goes a little dimmer. I mean I can still I can still see everything right up to the very edge, but it is it is a little a little dim. Um so I presume I can turn the screen off while that carries on. So let's just look around the device. I'm not sure I think I don't know if there's dual speakers. Um on the specs that I have it doesn't say it just says a loudspeaker. Yes. Uh thanks very much. So I've mentioned the back it actually feels feels pretty good. I like the sort of separate element in the middle there, dual flash by the looks of that. Let me see if I can very quickly confirm that. Um, yep, yeah, dual tone flash, touch focus, face detection, panorama, auto HDR. I'm not sure what auto HDR is. Just GNS, that still, that might take some time. Um, right, on the one side we have the power button. It's got a slight, probably for do with my nail. Um, I don't know if you can hear that on my directional mic. Uh, it's got a slight sort of rough edge to the power and then obviously the volume. You see that, the volume rocker next to it. It's got kind of this sort of, I don't know if it is steel, but it's got kind of this steel band going all the way around. So it looks a lot like, well, I mean, it's not that different. Where's my Nexus? I mean, ob obviously they're both Motorola, so it's not necessarily a surprise that they look similar. Um, but that's, I mean, that's quite cool. So I, I quite like the designer. Although I do like my square devices, as when I say square, I mean kind of flat back and slabo phone, as I call them. At the same time, the curved uh, curved devices like that, they do feel good in the hand. So at the top there, we've got the three and a half inch jack. Uh, probably a noise cancelling mic at the very top there. Nothing down the opposite side. Micro USB connector on the base. We've mentioned already the uh, front facing camera. Oh, I'm all set, look. Uh, maybe later. Welcome. Okay, I think I know how to use Android. What's that weather? Some kind of weather. Check your back cover, make sure it's well fitted. I will, oh, really? Just turn it off for a second, I'm fairly sure it was. I'm fairly sure that's that's on good and proper. But I can't, maybe unless. Water resistance. Your phone is only water resistant when you buy it, of course, obviously. Mm, got it. What else do we have? Uh, application required. Okay, fine. Oh, it's right now it's off on its uh, mad install. So let's just, I mean, it's going to be, in fact, oh, there is internet. If I what I'll do, because it's going to be, oh, should I just stop? Let's, yeah, let's just stop the. I'll do it manually later. Basically what I'm thinking is it won't be fair for me to be sort of judging how slick the device might be while it's installing apps because that's one of the things that will slow your phone down the most. Uh, what? Actually, maybe it's not. I mean, I must say, when I, I typed my uh, Wi-Fi password in, the keyboard was very quick and responsive. There was no lag, pop, 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 pop. It was all there nice and quick. Okay, so maybe it's I'm not quite sure what it's doing at this point. I suppose what we could do, 
just turn. Oh, it changed. It connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. That'd be why it wasn't going to get very far with that. So we, I've disconnected it for the moment. So we know it's, mind you, not a great deal. So not a great deal we can do until we have. No, I'm going to have to put the put internet back on so I can check things like YouTube. Hopefully we'll get connection back, please. Connected. Um, right, so let's let's go into YouTube, for example. New awesomeness awaits. No, there we go. Go in, ask me. So, so we can find. Now that sounds like the sounds only come from the bottom. That's not a problem. It doesn't sound massively loud either, which will be a bit of a disappointment. Speaker to me is very important. I know to many people it really isn't. Oh, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe uh, maybe it's not too bad. Let's can we crank? Oh dear. Okay, we want to find a. Let's let's see if we can find a seven twenty p. HD. So this one's 720p at least. Obviously the best it's going to do on YouTube because the screen itself is only 720p. Actually that looks pretty good. Don't know how well. I've got to be That really does that 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 image. I think. I don't know how well that's coming across on the. Uh, so generally, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not not too concerned by the screen. Doesn't necessarily have the best viewing angles, but doesn't look to be too bad either. Um, oh, it's off again on the old downloading no end of stuff. Well, I want to check the camera, I suppose, as well. Where's my little little Android buddy? Take a photo. Tap anywhere to take a photo. Hold for multiple shots. Drag up and down to zoom. Twist your wrist twice quickly to open the camera. So. Oh. That's actually quite clever. I mean, there are times sometimes it's a bit awkward to operate. Um... So that's how I think this is how previous Motorola's have worked as well. That's fine. So let's so if we come out, is it saying we can open? I quite like that. It's pretty quick as well. Have we got anything in the gallery? There shouldn't be. So let's see. Oh, so literally, there's no act. There's no actual shutter button. I don't know if you can see that. So we're literally, I think, just tapping on the. That was quite quick. Now. I think I heard it's the same camera as from the Nexus 6. Let's just try to see how quick again that is. That's pretty quick. I like Let's try the old quick fire. Wow, that took six in that time. I don't know if you can see that. Not that I need quite that many. So let's take a look at the uh, the quality of... They look, they look pretty good. But then, if it is the camera from the Nexus Six, then uh, I guess you'd expect that. One of the big letdowns on the Moto original Moto G was the camera. So, uh, if they if they've basically improved that, which it looks initial initially, it looks like they have. Obviously, I'll do a lot more testing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would say it looks everything looks pretty everything looks pretty slick to me. Um, that's real quick. Let's try a game. If you've got oh, it's gonna oh, we can't try that one. It's gonna now. One concern is this is only eight gigs, so I will get to a point fairly quickly that I'll be telling me there's no space left on this device. Um, but uh, 
you know, for a for a cheap device, it's kind of it's kind of almost like a backup device. I guess uh, I'll have to try and make do. There will be a 16 gig version with two gig of RAM. This only has one gig of RAM, but uh, I don't think Clove, for example, have that available for sale just yet. Now, obviously, our type's not the most demanding of. Uh -oh. As soon as I die, I'll stop, I promise. And I can almost guarantee that won't be long. As I say, I'm really not very good at this game. Whoa. But it mean it looks pretty smooth, there's no real issues, it's not it's not juttery or Do you know what I'm surviving a lot longer than I thought I would. I might have to edit this video. Take out all of this uh Oh, oh I didn't see him because it was under my thumb. Anyway, well, that's my excuse anyway. So uh it seems to have the power to handle no, I wanna come out, please. How do I let's just go let's just hit that one and let it Oh really? There we go. So actually let's just have a quick look at the app switcher. As in sort of how quick and smooth. Oh that's a bit slow. YouTube often is one of the slower. Let's try um Mm. Play Store. So, I mean, relatively quick there. Um, yeah, I mean, all around, I'm, I'm quite impressed. It will be interesting to see. Let's just try. Okay, Google. How far is it to Edinburgh? The drive from your location to Edinburgh, UK, is 386.0 miles. So, pretty quick. No problems there. Um, it will be interesting. I've got with me... Also, the Nexus 5 and the Xiaomi Mi 4i. The way I see it, these are all in a very similar price bracket. 160-ish, 165. You can buy these kind of 150 new on eBay. So I will be doing some videos comparing the three to try and let you know which is your best your best option. Um, so there we go. If you have anything particular you want me to look at, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.